Um, I saw a really strong second half, uh, a little out of sync first half um, on the defensive end, you know, and I think when we went into the locker room, we talked a little bit about that defense really starts our offense and that we need to do a better job um, of, you know, getting our hands in, you know, making it harder for them to score and taking away tendencies a little bit. I think we were allowing a couple of their other players aside from Jen um, to do what they wanted to do. So I thought that got a little bit better. You know, it's just so nice to see that your seniors step up when you need them to step up. And obviously, Coleman stepped up too for them. Um, but the balance in scoring says a lot. The assist to turnover ratios, I think, says pretty much everything we need to say. And then we've worked a lot in the last couple of days on half court offense because when people take away our transition, we need to be able to score in the half court. And to see us methodically go about our offense and find the right people at the right time for the most part was really nice to see. And we haven't really done that recently. We might have done that in the non-conference a little bit, but um, in conference it doesn't seem like we have. So I'm really proud of, of the group as, as a whole because they did play together. It was nice to see Maddie come off the bench and just get into the flow. You know, we took her out. I think she played five minutes. We took her out for no reason. I mean, we just wanted to get somebody else back in. But she didn't give up on herself knowing she was going to go back in in the second half and she did some damage in the second half for, for us so just uh really happy there's an overall nice team win i mean perimeter shooting has not been strong suit really yeah this year but you guys went 38 percent today was that like a topic of conversation coming into the game or were you still focused more on the inside game? I, I think a little of both we know that we have to be able to do both to have uh success um, so, you know, shooting with confidence is one thing I think I've talked to them about. It's like you, you're going to be open all the time because of how people are guarding us. So it's just a matter of taking the one that you want with confidence. Even Stack had a really nice um, like 15 to 18 foot shot there and she took it with confidence, didn't think twice and I'm just like that's what we need from everybody as we go into every game. Doesn't mean you're going to shoot it this well, but I was happy to see that, you know, we got some, some home bounces today. There's a couple that hit the rim and rolled around and went in. I'm like, finally, it's been a long time since that's happened. So um, that felt good for sure. I mean, coming into the day, Holy Cross was kind of another one where it was, yep. it was really a first half game yep. for you guys instead of a, a second half. Yep. Minutes. Today was a little bit of, an off, you know, second half yep. instead of first half, but it was still more complete. Uh, 40 minutes yep. Holy Cross. So just talk about how you approach that. Yeah, we talked about because we didn't guard La Barbara for 40 minutes that it hurt us. Um, and they knew it. And I think we could point out the things that we did wrong in that game. But, um, you know, I think was we only lost one one quarter today, the first quarter. Um, and we, we, we cut the lead, their lead a little bit. Um, we got to the free throw line. I think Jade made a couple baskets there towards the end of the first just to keep it close. Um, but it was nice to see that we could put three quarters, string three quarters together. We're not there yet, right? We, we, we need it to be four. Um, but it was nice to at least have three of them there. And then them not getting down on themselves at halftime for being down at home. I think... You know, it's it's helpful when you're home and down, but at the same time, they could have they could have imploded, gone individual, and they didn't do that today. They they stayed within the system, they stayed within themselves, and uh, made some great decisions. And what were you know similar to the question for the players? What was the kind of the, the focus on the halftime? It was really the defensive end, um, giving up 29 points and a half. It was just not, and, and they're not a high scoring team anyway, so you're giving them already uh, what they want. So. Um, making some adjustments on switching and not switching and hedging and all that kind of stuff we talked about. Even late in the game, we started to switch more ball screens. Um, our posts are, are, are really good. Our starting posts are really good at keeping uh, guards in front of them. And I think we could do a little bit more of that and be a little bit more aggressive off of it. So that, and I just think I loved how we shot the ball in the second half. We were just, we were loose. And that's how you win. That's how you make shots is, is, is playing loose. And we need to figure out how to do that on the road. And you kind of already mentioned it, but talk about you know having you know especially Jade uh, Fish and Taylor and even Maddie, yep. you know, those four seniors really firing all cylinders. How important that is? Yeah, I mean you have to have that if you're gonna win multiple games in our league you have to have your seniors step up and and play both ends of the floor and they all did that they played both ends and i in the locker room i credited uh, laura gray talk because she played coleman the last couple days in practice she did a heck of a job and she prepared us for this game so even though she didn't get minutes she helped us 
And, you know, that's the fifth senior, and I, I really want to give her a shout-out because I think she deserves it. And can you just speak a little bit more on Fish and what she yeah. did today? Fish, um, Fish was good. I, I think, you know, having seven assists, like Taylor mentioned, still being able to score, like, that's what she's capable of. And I know she's really focused on not turning the ball over. I know that's where, she, where her mind goes. You know, but running our transition was better today. She knew when to pull it out. She knew, um, she, I think she made one bad pass, I think, early in the first quarter or first half, and then she changed it. Um, so it's like I'm seeing her evolve as the season goes. She's starting to feel better about her game. She's starting to see things a little bit better. And um, it's just paying off for her because she's getting more game experience, I think, than she's ever had any year she's been here. I, I was impressed with Taylor bringing that up right at the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Saying seven assists and one turnover for yep. a teammate yep. in an interview. I mean, yeah. Is that something, you know, do you see? You know, obviously, she had a good game and she came back. And fish. Yeah, I definitely see growth. And I think, you know, you look at the stat sheet too and you see Jade had six assists. So 13 of our assists were from our one and twos, which is huge because, again, you know, we are trying to get Jade the ball for sure, right? But everybody knows we're trying to do that and it's hard to get it. So the fact that Jade, even on top of fish, can have assists when she knows that she's the focal point is huge. But fish is starting to see just things in the offense a little bit better than she has in the past. And I think. You know, sometimes when you're 5'6", it's harder to see things when people have their hands up and stuff. Um, but I think she anticipates things pretty well, um, and she's finding shooters better than she ever has. And I think, I don't know if she had all of Maddie's uh, assists on the three, but she may have. And she was focused on getting Maddie the ball against the zone, and I think that's what you want from your point guard. She knows where the ball needs to go and who needs to take the shot. All right, thanks. Thanks, guys.